Here are a few principles that might help you to have peace of mind. Do not interfere in others' business unless asked. Most of us create our own problems by interfering too often in others' affairs. Forgive and forget. This is the most powerful aid to peace of mind. We often develop ill feelings inside our heart. We nurture grievances. This turns results in loss of sleep, hypertension, and etc., etc. Forgive, forget, and march on. Don't crave for recognition. The world is full of selfish people. They seldom praise anybody without selfish motives. Their recognition is not worth the aggravation. Change yourself according to the environment. If you change, try to change the environment single-handedly, the chances are you will fail. Instead, change yourself to suit your environment. As you do this, even the environment which has been unfeeling to you will mysteriously change and seem continual and harmonious. Endure what cannot be cured. This is the best way to turn a disadvantage into advantage. Every day we face numerous inconveniences, ailments, irritations, and accidents that are beyond our control. If we cannot control them or change them, we must learn to put up with these things. We must learn to endure them cheerfully. Believe in yourself and you will gain in terms of patience, inner strength, and willpower. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We often tend to take more responsibilities than we are capable of carrying out. This is done to satisfy our ego. Know your limitations. You cannot gain peace of mind by expanding your external activities. Meditate regularly. Meditation calms the mind and gets rid of disturbing thoughts. This is the highest state of peace of mind. It will increase your efficiency and you'll be able to produce better results in less time. Never leave the mind vacant. Keep your mind occupied in something positive, something worthwhile. You must decide what you value more, money or peace of mind. Lastly, don't procrastinate and never regret. Do not waste time in protracted wondering. Should I or shouldn't I? Value your time and do the things that need to be done. It doesn't matter if you fail the first time. You can learn from your mistakes and succeed the next time. Do not regret. Whatever happened was destined to happen only that way. As the old saying goes, why cry over spilt milk?